Hey, do you mind paying for this? I don't have any cash. Sure, I'll just put it on my credit card. I'm never gonna pay it back anyway. Cause I have $30,000 in credit card debt. When they call, I tell them I can't pay it back yet. Credit card debt. Tomorrow, I may buy myself a dining room set or this Boba Fett. Credit card debt. Credit card debt. Credit card debt. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Where is the best place to learn about Canadian finance? Now for this week, when I was thinking about a topic to cover, I really wanted to cover the issue of debt. Because in September, in Canada, it's what I call the month of pain. That's the month where your CRB is ending and also your mortgage deferral. Now, whether your job is affected by COVID or not, there is a good chance you might have to incur some debt or you might already have some at the moment. So I wanna spend this video to really talk about how to pay off debt faster in a smarter way and save yourself a lot of interest in the process. So if you wanna get smarter with your debt, keep watching this video. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to pay off faster. And we're gonna use something called poo. No, not this kind of poo, the other poo. Prioritize, organize, optimize, poo. Oh bother. All right, so the first step is prioritize. What we wanna do here is first figure out all the debts we have and which one we should prioritize to handle first. So the first step is list out all your debts. So I'm gonna put an example on the screen of a typical person with multiple debts. What's that gonna look like? And the second step I want you to do is separate your debt into good debt and bad debt. Yes, that's right. So not all debt are the same. Some of the debt, it's gonna help you and you wanna keep them for longer. But other bad debt is gonna hurt you in the long run and you wanna pay them off as soon as possible. So how can you tell? Well, all you have to do is ask yourself two questions as you go down the list for each debt. Number one is by paying the interest into this debt right now, does it help you have any tax saving when you file tax? Then number two, by holding this debt, does it help you grow your money to a bigger piece so in the future you could pay this off and still have leftover profit for yourself? And to be a good debt, you need to fit at least one of the two criteria. So a typical good debt would be an investment loan, a mortgage or line credit used for investment property, a government student loan program, or a car loan for self-employees. All of these, the interests are tax deductible and some of them could even help you grow your money further. So now we separate our debts into two groups. For the good debt, what you want to do here is you want to hold on to these good debts as long as possible while you're handling the other debts. So once we isolated all the bad debts, what we want to do is list out all the interest rate we're being charged annually on these debts and rearrange them from the highest interest rate to the lowest interest rate. Now, once we've done that, we'll know exactly which debt we should prioritize to pay off first. So then we can move on to the second step. The second step is to organize your debts. So a lot of the bad debt on your list probably is charging you a lot higher interest rate than what you could have paid. What I mean is there is usually better and cheaper loans out there for you to hold instead of paying directly into these debt you have right now. So what we want to do here is get as much low interest loan as possible and consolidate all our debt, starting with the most expensive ones at the top. So typically what you can do here are three options. Number one is you can walk into a bank, usually your own bank because they have a record of you doing transaction anyway, or a credit union. Typically they're more friendly and helpful in helping people with the loan situation. And you want to ask for something called a consolidation loan. And the second thing you can ask for is a personal line of credit. Usually this is done directly from the bank you bank with. They usually have a pre-approval limit like 5,000 or 10,000 already, depending on how long you have banked with them. This is generally 5% to 7% interest rate. And it's a loan where you only have to pay monthly interest, but any extra payment you make will directly reduce your principal and also lower your interest payment right away. So both of these would work. And the idea is to take all your expensive debt and replace them with these much cheaper personal loans. So by doing this, you will immediately save your interest costs right away and let you have more money to pay towards your principal. Now, there is actually a third option you could consider, but I will give you a warning right now. If you want to look into this, I highly, highly recommend you work with an advisor to come up with a plan before considering this. And this is looking for 0% interest rate on credit card promotions. 
So sometimes credit cards will give you 12 months of promotion where it's 0% even if you incur a credit card debt. So a possible solution could be getting those credit cards and use the limit to pay down your existing credit card loan. So that will buy you 12 months to work on this new credit card debt with 0% interest. And that will save you a lot of interest cost. However, if you don't use it correctly, you now might have two different credit card loans. The original one, which now you respend and it's built up again. And you have a new card where once the promotion over, it's going to charge you a lot of interest and you're not paying that off. No, 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 no. So unless you're working with an advisor who is going to guide you through and have a plan and instill the discipline in you, I don't recommend you thinking about this option. So let's refer to the same example I showed you. This person has three credit card debt with different interest rate and owing amount. If his bank right now can give him a 15K personal line of credit so he can replace two of his credit card with the highest interest rate. So now he will have one credit card debt and one personal line of credit debt with much cheaper interest cost. All right, but you might be asking and saying, hey, I actually tried this already. I asked my bank, but they're not willing to give me a consolidation loan or a line of credit. So I can't really do this step. That's okay. Don't worry about it. If you're in this situation, we can move over to the next step and look at how we optimize payments into our debt. All right, so now it's time to optimize. So before you start, I want to let you know that for all the debt, especially bad debts, they will show you an interest cost per year, maybe something like 10% or credit card like 20%. But actually, when they calculate your amount payment, they calculate interest per day. So if we use the same example as before, our 15K line of credit, which we just got from a consolidation loan, let's say they're charging us 6% per year right now. If we take six divided by 365, our daily interest is actually 0.016%. So onto the second part, which is how they calculate our interest. What they would do is actually take our owing amount every day times our daily interest rate, and that will give us our daily interest owed. So in this example, we're actually incurring a $2.40 of interest every day as long as the balance remains at 15 k So knowing this, we want to optimize our payment into our debt. And what we want to do here is pay into our debt as soon as we have the money in our accounts. So looking at this example with our 15 k line of credit, let's say we were originally planning to pay 2000 at the end of the month into this debt. Well, if we do this, our daily interest calculated is going to be $74.40. However, let's say this $2,000 we saved up actually came from $1,000 in the beginning of the month or from that paycheck, and then another thousand from the middle of the month. And we take that 1,000 as soon as we get it, we pay into this line of credit. And doing the math, it's going to give us a monthly interest of $66.72. So just by paying into our debt as soon as possible, we actually bring down our interest by more than 10% compared to waiting until the end of the month. Now for credit card, it works a slightly different. They use something called daily average balance, but the general idea is the same. But you might be saying, what if I need money? Well, if you need money, you can just respend the amount that you just paid down, maybe your credit card or line of credit for your daily expense. But the key here is for the number of days your paycheck is sitting inside your loans, it's actually lowering your daily interest cost, and that will leave you more money to pay towards your principal. Now, I'm going to give you one last bonus and a very important point for this pool system to work on your loans. You need to have discipline going forward because no matter how good the steps are to help you save interest and how much we optimize, at the end of the day, if next month you overspend again and you incur more debt than last month, nothing can save you and dig you out of this hole. So you definitely need to dive into your own budgeting and finance and figure out where you're really spending the money and where can you cut to lower your expense. So what I've done is actually uploaded my budgeting sheet that I use with clients all the time onto my website for free. So if you click the link in the description below, you can download this budget sheet and then use it to map out your budget first to see if there are areas you can reduce to help pay off your debt and have a better discipline to keep track of your expense you spend within limit. I'll definitely recommend you working with a trustworthy advisor to get you a second opinion and help you make sure you're staying on track. 
Now, no matter what, in September, we're definitely going to head towards a very difficult time for the economy. So I want to make sure everybody is educated on their finance. So we actually created a private group on Facebook to share more exclusive contents and for people to ask questions inside. So if you haven't already, make sure you click the link in the description below and request to join. And also, if you like these videos, I do upload them every Tuesday on this channel. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to my channel and click the bell button on the side so you get all the notifications in the future. All right, this is Jackie Cole. I hope you found this interesting. I'll see you in the next Tuesday. Bye.